Hey everybody, we're back at uh, Tricked Out Customs. We're, uh, what, seven days in? Yeah. Seven yeah. days in from when you saw the frame, and this is where we're at. Go ahead, tell them what you did so far. Well, it's maybe seven days, but I only have about six hours working <laughs> on it. Uh, most of it was finding, like I said, the bolts and the hardware, and getting it to what you see now. What's getting, you know, our tail section on there, the uh, regular inner fender tray, getting all the regular bike components on it. Got the controller, just kind of getting the positioning uh, where it's probably going to go. Hang out. Sorted out. Got the batteries laying on it. Uh, the first two, going to get them mocked up. Plenty of room for the two other batteries. We're going to make the cradle next week. Um, then uh, you can get here and do some wiring. And it's the wiring time. Get it all hooked up. So Okay, I got the uh, batteries configured exactly where I'm going to mount them up. I need to get some hardware to weld up some mounting brackets. Uh, I'm utilizing the existing front engine mount to support the batteries and then I'm going to lead off of that with some cage work. So now that the tank goes on and off my little shell of a tank, I am going to shape this a little better, adhere the tank to this. I'm also going to heat warp this down and get this to follow the body lines of the frame, subframe a lot smoother. And then we'll uh, probably be ready for painting this in. Gonna fill in the gas cap, or I might do a custom light up section there, or I may do a charging there. I'm not, not really sure yet. I have a couple options that I'm gonna work through and figure out and get that, uh, you know, one of the last steps, so I'm gonna get that done. Um, so the sides are black. We're gonna do a quick shoot on the tail section. Quick shoot in the tank. Uh, we're mocking up the front fender, making some fender mounts. Uh, I think we found a Kawasaki Z1000 front fender that we would like to shape up. It was sitting in the back. We're running with it. Um, so yeah, it's really coming along good. Made a lot of progress today. Uh, there's not too much more um, rough fabrication to do. We're going to make a wiring harness for the uh, lighting system. I'm not using any of the existing wiring harness from the Hayabusa except from the switch housing to operate the horn, uh, headlights and turn signals, but uh, I'm just gonna go straight out for the plug, um, run my own wiring harness for turn signals, couple flashers, relays, and that's really all we're gonna need of a wiring harness for the bike, you know, except for the controls for the, uh, you know, the control unit and then uh, the batteries and everything will be contained within their own harness. So, so that way it's just the, the swap is, everything its own, its own gauges, the batteries, the electronics, the drive motor, and then I'll make a simple harness for the bike. So that way the factory harness could be just removed, put aside. You certainly could use your factory wiring harness, but I didn't have it with this bike, and why get one just to dissect it to use a few pieces of it. Um, so that's it, we're gonna get working on shaping up the tank, and um, after I do the lighting, wait for the turn signals to come in also. We have LED uh, turn signals uh, to put into the front. Uh, once they're all done, that should be pretty simple. I'm thinking about putting a tablet in the front that we can Bluetooth, um, probably monitor the batteries. If not, it'll be uh, just another cool display. You can use uh, digital gauges along with the battery sensors and everything that are contained in these gauges here. So. That's pretty much it till next time then. Um, stay tuned, keep watching. Hope you're enjoying this. If you have any comments, 
Any uh, suggestions? I'm absolutely open for anybody's ideals. This is uh, something new I'm doing, trying to be creative and working it as I go. And we normally do a lot of the looks and the show stuff, so really not getting into any of that at this point on the bike. We're really strictly going to make it a basic bike that is uh, electronic. You know, we can certainly, everybody knows all the craziness of stuff we can do with aftermarket paint, components and everything else on there, but we're gonna streamline this bike uh, from the get-go. A lot of good aftermarket components from Voodoo. Um, besides that, we're gonna do one of our custom light-up windscreens um, for quick advertising, because pretty much I got about another three weeks before the auto show, so uh, we're limited to what we can do along with several other bikes we still have gotta complete. So this is just one of the projects uh, that I'm working on. Um, and we're gonna make some side bearings for the other EV, uh, Kawasaki 250 that needs a little, love to make it a little bit more cosmetic um, that we're gonna work on as well. So keep watching, check us out. We'll see you next time.